And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, that as of a father's only son. These words from the Gospel of John summarize the Christmas miracle more poignantly than any other. And yet this is a miracle that many look at with doubt or even disdain. Christmas is seen as quaint and antiquated by many, and by some who believe deeply in monotheistic faith, it's actually seen as a diminishment of who God is. Surely the God who created the cosmos with sheer force of will can't be reduced to a single human being, a strange itinerant rabbi who graced ancient Palestine about 2,000 years ago. But if we pause and think about what this Christmas miracle is really telling us, it doesn't make God smaller. It actually makes God bigger. Because it says that that same God, whom the heaven of heavens cannot contain, who is bigger than all of the universes, in whose mind, not just we, but everything that is, lives and moves and has its being, is also perfectly capable of showing up in a human being as one of us, and even in the form of the Holy Spirit, being as close as our next breath. Everything from the infinitesimally small to the incomprehensibly large is not beyond God's reach. As far as I'm concerned, this makes God more powerful and more grand than one that does not show up as an incarnate human being. And so this Christmas season, as you ponder the words and the traditions and the Christmas miracle, I invite you to see with new clarity that in everything, your personal life, all the way to the most cosmic, the most global thing you can imagine, God is intimately and personally present, loving, regenerating, cajoling, encouraging, and bringing all things to their perfection.